the fascination or the obsession with owning a classic car or driving a classic car is actually getting lost in the experience of actually driving down a back road. There's something about just feeling free. There's no technology, there's no iPads on the dash. It is you, a vehicle, a motor, and that is all you're hearing. There's nothing else that can distract you from driving that vehicle. You have to be one with the vehicle every time you drive it. And I think that's the part that makes me realize how much I love classic cars because it makes me escape all the technology in the world. My passion came from my old man. He always showed me photos of him growing up, the cars he owned, the toys he owned, the dirt bikes, snowmobiles, and sure enough, the one day he buys an MGB, a 1975 MGB, and shows me everything to know from painting, welding, oil changes, how to actually drive the classic car that actually fired and fueled my passion even more. My very first vintage car was a 1966 Ford Falcon that I traded a lawnmower for. I believe it was a 170 motor with a three on the tree. I think for me, telling someone what it feels like to one, work on a vehicle and then drive it is something that you really can't explain. It's, it's a feeling that just comes through your whole body almost while you're driving down a back road and the sun is just coming down. It's it's an experience that you can't really relate to anything else. And unless you do it yourself, you go through the process of buying your first classic car, fixing it, working on it, putting your blood, sweat and tears into it and driving it is just an experience that no one will really understand unless you do it for yourself. We filmed this entire short documentary on the brand new Sigma 28 to 45 millimeter F1.8 DGDN art. As a portrait photographer, I don't have much experience shooting documentaries or interviews, but I've always had visions for them and always wanted to dive more into video work. Being so new to making videos like this and not knowing if I'd actually enjoy Doing it, I needed one lens that can do it all, and the brand new 28 to 45 millimeter f1.8 was a perfect choice for this project. It covering the wide and standard zoom range honestly makes it a great option for anyone in the same situation or anyone not looking to carry a bunch of prime lenses with them. This is the world's first full frame mirrorless zoom lens with a fast 1.8 aperture. With this lens, I was still able to achieve that blurry background and bokeh without needing to swap through different prime lenses, allowing me to be a lot more versatile, but also get better low light performance, which was exactly what I needed for this location. The lens features all internal zoom. Now I shot most of these clips handheld, but if I was doing any gimbal work, I wouldn't have to worry about rebalancing the gimbal every time I zoom in and out. It is part of Sigma's art line, ensuring the highest and sharpest image quality. It features Sigma's HLA linear autofocusing system for fast and quiet autofocusing, an aperture ring, and an aperture declick switch, which I actually use to make the scene darker as the light changed during the interview. These features paired up with its fast aperture makes this lens a great option for video creators and it's one of the reasons why I chose it for this project. However, the same goes for photos. If I can have one lens in my bag instead of two or three primes, especially when traveling light, I would take that any day. To achieve a result like this and film a documentary on just one single lens lowers the barrier to entry and tells me that anyone can do it. My name is Stefano Lombardo, a photographer and creative based out of Toronto, Canada. 
and this is a new Sigma 28-45mm to f1.8 DG DN art.